What is going on, ladies and generals? Johnny Say here. Welcome back to a new Skyrim Let's Play episode 99. We're almost to triple digits, boys and girls. This is pretty freaking cool. It's going to be the longest running Let's Play I've had. And uh, just think, it may it almost didn't happen, but a lot of people wanted it, and I brought it back, and here we are today, taking on gargoyles and shit. <laughs> oh god, what did I say? Oh, I just grizzed that guy. Oh, he just got pooped on. I didn't really poop on him, but she did for sure. Vampire Royal Armor. Dude, poop on him. Oh, she summoned that gargoyle? That's super sick. That is super sick. I want to see this. <laughs> Sorry, I coughed. I guess I'll help. These gargoyles look pretty nasty, man. Oh, I think I got the final blow in. Thank God. Do they have anything on them? Flawless garnets. Cool. I could have took that amethyst or two, but I ain't worried about it. Now, where the hell do I go from here? I don't think we've reached the top yet. Uh, some kind of secret passage, huh? Um. I don't know. I honestly can't see shit. Oh, hold up. I bet you it's got something to do with these weird looking logs. Yeah, something's got, something's up. Do I gotta actually take this firewood for it to register though? Damn it, now I got firewood and I don't want firewood. Uh, hmm. There we go. Let me get rid of that firewood real fast. I don't need... Oh, did my game freeze or something? I'm gonna get rid of this firewood real quick, dudes. I don't need no firewood on me. Firewood. Bingo, bango, bongo. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> it looked like a thigh. I was about to say, dude, it's let me pick up like somebody's leg. Wonder if that gargoyle curse or whatever. Oh snap! Definitely something crazy going on in this room. I want this castle to be mine, though. Idea she had a setup like this. And I'm gonna take a couple minutes to steal them, just saying. I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously something. Dude, she's got soul gems for days. What do these fragments do? Can't you like uh Let's take a look around? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. Cause nah. Think compares looking at the equipment and materials. Nothing it looks like she was trying to advance necromancy. To you. I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. Yep. Alright, let's I'm find the notes. I'm looking for a sweetheart. Ice wraith teeth. Fuck ice wraiths. I hate them. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the fear of the fight. 
Oh, we're about to do some crazy shiznizzle, dude. I gotta fill that up, probably. Then there's gonna be demon summoned. And I'm gonna scream like a chick. And I don't see her notes anywhere. Hold up. That looks like some place where notes would be. Maybe it's the blue book. Not the blue book. Uh oh, the red book. Ah, I found it. I don't see any other good. I don't. She doesn't have any playboys or penthouses or anything. Yet? You did? Let me see them. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems, that the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the soul cairn itself. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cairn. A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Hmm, not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. Alright, sweet. Well, we need to find some void salt and bone mill. I already got those glass shards, so... There's some bone mill. Frost... I think the void salts look like a little... Pretty sure they look like a little powder in a pile. Hmm, don't see any there. Took all the other ones. I don't know why I wouldn't have took that. I already took those. I don't know why it's giving me the option to do it again. Uh-huh. Fire salts. I'm pretty sure it looks like a little powder just chilling. Oh. Fire salts. Frost salts. Salt pile. Void salts. Oh, I thought it was the take purified. All right. Sweet. We need you to come over and stick your finger too. I'm done. Get the ingredients in that vessel and let me know when you're ready. I did that, yo. All of the ingredients into the vessel. Did I not get enough bone mill or something? What the French toast? Oh, bone mill. Hold on, let me look at this. I place it finally. Oh, finally ground. I didn't. I don't think it was finally ground. My bad. We gotta search for this crap though, because um, the bone mill was over here. Da 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 da. -da. Take B. I got some more bone mill. As far as finely ground, I don't know where that is. Maybe I gotta do it at the table or something. Huh. Hold up. 
Maybe there's some over here that I'm missing. Oh, there we go. Boom, boom. Get the ingredients in that vessel and let me know. When there you go. Kill yourself or whatever you're doing. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? Yep. I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Just slice your throat, we'll see. Of course. What is it? I've been asking myself the same thing since we came back to the castle. She was so sure of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. I never thought of the cost. Possibly. I guess even a vampire mother is still a mother. She worried about me. About all of us. But she wanted to get me as far away from my father as possible before he really went over the edge. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I just didn't expect anyone to care how I felt about her. Thank you. Are we ready then? All right, here goes. Sweet. Well, let me go over. Oh, it's because there's going to be a stairwell. That looks pretty sick. Uh. Are you all right? That looked painful. Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The soul cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Not your first choice, I guess? Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. Holy shit! So, become a vampire, become partially soul trapped. Being so partially soul trapped will make me weaker. Oh, what is it? I didn't do the vampire mission for nothing. I'm soul trapping. Sure. I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. Yes, I'm you sure. You're mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul cairn. I'm ready. I know this is difficult for you. Leroy Jenkins, baby. I never do anything that could hurt you. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time then. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Trust me, though, even though she's a vampire, I'd give it to her soft and slowly. I just wouldn't let her kiss on my neck. Let's go. My mother must be waiting on the other side of that. That's pretty sick. I like how that portal is. I'm anxious to see where we're going. Look at this Buddha looking motherfucker. But seriously, though, she looks pretty good for a vampire. I'd probably, uh, I'd give it to her. But, you know, like I said, I'm just not going to let her nibble around my ears or anything like that. Sweet. This looks awesome. What is that thing over there? How you doing? Dare they cast me from you don't want to fucking spire. talk? I will make them pay dearly. Whoa. Alright, well let's just gump it through this little purple land here. The souls are kind of tweaking me out here. 
I see sperm-looking purple lights floating around everywhere. I'm in a place of unfamiliarity, and sperms are flo- Bone Man! Oh. He's got purple eyes. What the hell? What if I jump on this? Did you hear what I said? No nibbling on my neck, but if you want to bend over, bend over, Robo. Alright, let's go. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Arvac, my horse. <laughs> came to this horrible place together. <laughs> we were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Arvac? Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! That's how I can help him? Find Arvac's skull in the soul's cairn. All right, let's go look for this horse's skull because if I get rewarded with a purple horse like that and I could ride around, that will be the shit. So let's look around for this dude's horse real fast. How big is this place? I think we spawned up there. This doesn't look like an area a horse would be. I want to leave in the comments if I don't find this dude's horse skull. Let me know if it's like awesome if I should try to find it. This place looks pretty badass though. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find his head, dude. It looks way too big. All right, so let's just go this one. Let's just go this way. Who cares about the horse head? I thought at first it was just a little area, but it looks like it's pretty freaking huge. That's what she said. You never know it. I can, leave in the comments, though, if I would get this beastly horse, if I find the head. Because I'm down to look it up on YouTube and figure out where the head is. <laughs> Alright. I might even come across it just by naturally playing. We're just going to have to keep a lookout for the head. Is that the head right here? No. Oh, hold up. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Arvac! Arvac! Uh, uh, come here. I'm trying to sprint like I'm playing Call of Duty. Arvac. You're. Where did you go, Arvac? I seen him. This place looks beast mode, dude. Heck yeah. Uh oh. What is that? Nothing. Nada. Well, we seen Arvac. I'm not sure where Arvac disappeared to. Literally disappeared to. Oh, balls. Arvac! Come here, fucker! Arvac, you cocksucker! Uh-oh. Arvac doesn't want nothing to do with me, man. Bastard horse. That would be so sick though, riding that around like white run and stuff. What is this red dot? Oh. Get him, baby. You can do it. I have no stamina. I can't run anywhere because I'm weakened in here.
I don't know where Orvac went, but this place is pretty big. I mean, it's not huge, but it's too big to run around looking for a horse head. Let's see what's over here. This place looks pretty awesome. Maybe I should have just became a vampire so I could freaking run! I don't know if I've used that. Let's see if I, uh... I think I might have already used the spell tome thing. Yeah, I already know it. I thought I did. All right, we're good. Well, I don't think Arvac's head's gonna be back here. Well, what the holy shit am I supposed to do right now? She's got like some guard up. Huh. What am I supposed to do? Maybe I was supposed to go through here and come around like the backside or something. No, it looks like she's got a guard up all over the freaking place. Huh. I wonder if it is sad. Serena and I have entered the soul care in the pursuit of the strange mother of Valerica. Valerica. And the Elder Scroll she took when she fled. Okay. Maybe I need to wait on this chick. I found your mother. Mother? Mother? It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. Kind of look alike. Right. Wait a moment. You brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? You don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to... I think it's glitched him. out. Coming from one who murders vampires as a trade, I find it hard to believe your intentions are noble. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's Bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Bull. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survived the ordeal. 
Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Serana? This stranger aligns herself with those that would hunt you. Holy cow, that was glitched out the whole time. I couldn't move. Yet I should entrust you to her. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes, the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again, but I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us, but we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Saron. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes, I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. So we... The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say, a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Harkon's vision is a world plunged in eternal darkness, where the vampire can flourish, and never again fear the tyranny of the sun. What he fails to realize is how much attention would be called to our kind if the prophecy came to fruition. If eternal night fell, there are many who wouldn't stand for it. They would raise armies in attempts to return things to Norman. The order of the day would be our destruction until every last vampire was hunted down and eliminated. I do. It's how the vampire has survived for millennia, and the only way we can continue to survive in the future.
Be careful. Rock on, dudes. All right. Well, we got to go destroy some things. I'm assuming it is... That looks sick up there. Looks awesome. And I'm going to assume that there's three of things that look like that right there in the middle of the screen. Uh, we got to destroy the keepers. There's also a dragon that is out and about. So that'd be pretty nasty to take on him. But I'm going to leave this off right here, guys. We'll pick up. We'll go after the keepers and the dragon next episode. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, man. This world looks pretty freaking awesome. Hopefully we can find the damn horse's head or something. But I definitely want to take on that dragon. And I have a feeling it'll happen next time. And I seen a shadow and I thought maybe he's about to poop on me. But guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll pick it up right here next time. And it will be episode 100. I hope you guys are excited. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.